turn now to Lisa Rosner with more on residents who were able to escape the fire. Lisa, what have you learned? Well, Jessica, we know that there were more than 100 units in that building, and we saw many of the residents who made it out come here to this school behind me today where the Red Cross set up a resource center. Now, in the last hour, we also saw some residents boarding MTA buses that were headed for hotels in the area where some will be sleeping tonight. It is another layer of devastation on top of the trauma they've already experienced. Guillermo Sanchez breaks down, recounting the moments he heard alarms go off. I said, okay, we're going to die. You know, it's not easy. He, like Mohammed Trawali on the 12th floor, opened their doors only to quickly close them after seeing smoke. When I clear my throat, all I see is black mucus. It was so serious. I've never seen anything like it before. The FDNY eventually came to each unit to tell tenants it was okay to leave. Michael Joseph says he held on to the stairwell wall to make it from the sixth floor to the laundry room, where he found a mother with her kids and got them first aid. One of them was passed out. One of them had injuries to the head, and the other little girl, she had injuries to her back. Hours later, the nerves of not knowing whether loved ones were alive hit a breaking point. No, 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 no. Franz Sanon found his 75 and 76-year-old parents at the middle school turned resource center down the block after searching area hospitals. Well, I'm just oh, overwhelmed right now. I was thinking of the worst. Late Sunday night, we saw some tenants were able to retrieve a bag and their pets before boarding an MTA bus to nearby hotels where they will be staying for the night. Earlier, people of all faiths and backgrounds donated food, clothing, toiletries, and other items. Jackets, sweaters, sneakers, pants for the kids, for adults. Moving forward, the city says... We are not accepting any type of physical donations due to COVID and, and we're figuring things out. Um, we are looking at setting up some type of fund through the city. And since we spoke with her, the New York City Mayor's Fund was launched. We have a link to that fund on our website. Meantime, tomorrow, the Red Cross will be set up at a different location, Monroe College on Jerome Avenue. They will be there to help these families starting at noon. We're live in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. So much to rebuild. Lisa, thank you.